Now, the next thing that I've done is I've put some concrete block, 190 millimeter concrete block walls um, around to start um, uh, frame, framing up my facilities that are required. Um, you can see that I've dropped the wall heights down minus 50 to match the slab, which is a 50 millimeter step down around these areas. Uh, still kept them at, a, I've made them a three metre wall height, I think that'll sort of work all right. So we want to respect block dimensions for the heights. We'll have a look at that in a detailing exercise later. Um, and I've arranged a layout that would suit the facilities that we re require in this uh, mixed class building, having some retail and some office. Um, so the number of facilities we've determined that we needed um, is uh, one, one male, one separate male with um, separate uh, pedestal, urinal and basin, um, a female uh, toilet with uh, pedestal and basin and a PWD toilet area for people with disabilities um, with PWD toilet and basin. Um, now just you might want to, so I've just used the standard object tool and selected the different objects for the basin. Uh, Archicad comes with with a, a very nice range of standard uh, facilities and, and uh, objects. Um, but then with the PWD one to bring it into Australian standards, uh, after I inserted the object for the WC disabled in the object, um, I found to bring it into requirements for Australian standards I needed to stretch out this point a little bit more so you can change to pet the last pet tool drag node so you can change that dimension and I think Australian standards require that to be 800 from the wall so it gives you an ob oblong pan shape um, but it still would then uh, so the pan would probably finish back here away from the system further than it, than it seems to. Uh, but it's more the space requirements being 800 out from the wall that I used that node there to adjust with. Um, the other requirement then would be for doors. So when I've placed the doors, for example, this door here, well, to select doors in Archicad, it's best if you select somewhere on one of the nodes. So once you've selected on there, to actually check whether this door opens properly, you're probably better off coming down to, I think, is it um, the uh, model view options? No, it's not the model view options. It must be, oh yes it is, model view options. And if you open up floor plan detail level of doors and windows and skylights, if you change the floor plan detail level to something detailed, like detail two for the moment, just temporarily, you can then see more information about the door. Particularly if you then select your door and change its settings, um, now where's that, it might be under here, opening type and angle, and you can change your 3D opening angle to 90 degrees, just even temporarily. Oh, I can't, now I thought that might swing that to open, doesn't matter, okay, we won't worry about that then, I'll show you what I will do. What, why I wanted to try and do that is because the code requirements for disabled access is you need a clear opening space inside the door jam and any other obstructions of 850 millimeters. So you can see if this door leaf here was to swing open, it would be about 40 millimeters thick. I need, I need a clear dimension inside this door jam here from that point there down to this point here, but minus 40 millimeters. Well, actually, if I grab a, yeah, we got it just there. So I've grabbed a construction line just there. You can see that's where the door, the back of the door is swinging to. So if I pull that out another 40 millimeters, I'd have the thickness of the door when it's in its open position. Now I need to make sure that when the thickness of the door is in its open position that I've still got from that point there I'll just get this again measure 
So I still want from this point, mm, okay, well, I'll go from this point here down to here where it would hit the door, the front of the door in its open position, I've got 868. Now I've got code requirement for that to be 850. So to check why I went, that's why I've just played around with, if I just go to the door, um, you can see I've got an, an opening here of 920, but I'll show you where you set that up in ARCHICAD, because when you go to um, the stand nominal sizes and tolerances here, you can either set ARCHICAD, and I think by default it sets it up as a wall hole dimension, but if you change the number five leaf dimension, it allows you to put a standard door leaf in of 920. And you can see, so the standard door dimensions might be 920, 820, 770, so on and so forth. So that I played around with a standard door dimension and found the 920 was the one which would still give me 850 millimeters clear with the door open. So I just go back now to set this back to, uh, I think, drafting or construction probably. I think I had it on. Three construction, and that just changes that. And I'll just bring this, put that in the rubbish bin. No, oh, didn't quite make it. Bring that and drop it. Oh, so I'll just go up to view guideline options and remove all guidelines. Okay, um, so that's doors, and then these other doors here, they they can be set up, they can be set up probably to be 820s. But just be careful, you don't just change that 820 there, you've got to make sure that you go in and set up under nominal sizes and tolerances, you've got to set up that you are using your leaf dimension to dimension the door width. Of 820. So I've made these doors 820s generally um, and then a 920 for the PWD for PWD access. Okay so that's doors. We might go, I might just uh, pause the video at that point. <laughs>